Introducing Whiteboard. This is a whiteboard. Firstly, a help message will pop up at the first launch. You can check it anytime by drag a small rectangle on the desktop. And if you drag a big rectangle, an app menu will pop out. You can add a note, add a photo or a photo clip, add a map or a satellite image, check your Gmail or Google Reader. You can also access MSN Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, AIM, or many other instant messengers by using Google IM, Messenger FX, or the official web messenger from Microsoft. Additionally, you can also check and edit your Facebook or Twitter, or even play Sukodu. Now, let's try to add a note. Select Notes and then type something. Very easy. Then let's add a photo. Here, another menu will pop out, and we can choose a photo from your photo library. As you can see, when we rotate the iPad, the apps we added will auto fit the right size. Now we close a whiteboard and relaunch it. You'll find that the apps are still in the same position with the same contents. It's also easy to close the apps. Tap the little I button of each app, and the pop menu will be shown. Select Close so that the app will be closed. The most interesting part is that you can use your web messengers to stay online while doing some other things like reading RSS feeds, social networking, and playing games. Firstly let's add an app from Microsoft. We can create a messenger style window, and then add the app. Then let's add Facebook and Twitter. Okay, now we are back in the world again. Now we want to read some news. Let's open Google Reader. Sometimes when we want to read news, we want to focus on it. So let's tap the little information button and select maximize. Of course we can restore it anytime. In the same way, we can add a suck O2 game. We can also play it in full screen mode as well.